Hey y'all, Chad with Old South Bowlers. I actually have some time to get back in here and shoot a little video for y'all. I've had a uh, couple of uh, requests to show y'all how I file my blades and get them ready, you know, file in the bevels for the edge and all. And today I got a special guest here on the channel. This is Molly May, my youngest. Say hey, Molly, to everybody. Hey. So Molly stopped by the shop today. She's going to help me. She's my little, uh, she's my little patriot. She wanted everybody to know that uh, her favorite movie is Patriot. <laughs> since what you was two about two so uh she's just a little old backwoods country girl out here helping her daddy at the forge let me get the knife now y'all remember the uh the little twisted blade that we did last on the last video a few of y'all like that thank y'all for watching uh, i've got picked up a couple of more subscribers i think literally one or two but we appreciate all we can get i really do y'all i really appreciate y'all the encouraging comments i appreciate the uh all the comments and all the views, I really do appreciate it. And hopefully we can grow this channel. Uh, I know I'm gonna have to get some more content out and, and you know spend a little more time. And before I forget to say it, if uh, if this video helps y'all out at all, if you like it, if you can think of anything else you want to see me do or explain a little more in detail, y'all shoot me some feedback and we'll get it uh, we'll get it to you. But anyway, here's the little knife and uh, Mason of course is back on the camera. Come on up here, Mason, with that camera. Let me kind of show them the thickness of the bevel the way it is now. If y'all can see, it's probably a little thicker than a dime. And this is before filing, but it's not been touched with any files or any sandpaper. So we're going to get it in the vise, and uh, we'll get it filed out, and then we'll show you. So let's get on it. Get to it. All right, y'all, I'm going to get it biased up. And again, like I say, it's not been touched yet. And of course, it's not been hardened. I ain't even stamped it yet. I'm gonna get it in the vise. Get it as flat as can. I'm just using this little piece of steel here to to make it fit the vise because that little curly Q handle right there, that vise ain't wanting to bite it. Have to use that as a filler. So I'm gonna tighten up this old jewel jaw vise here. That ought to work. So it's just flat in the vise. Now sometimes when you're uh, when you're doing this and it's still got the scale from the forge on it, I'll take a little piece of sandpaper and just kind of knock some of that off where my file will start biting it. So that, uh, that old carbon buildup or scale buildup on there, it'll cause the file, even a sharp one sometimes, just kind of skate, skate on the metal and it won't start cutting in. So, and let's see which one of these files here, which one of these files I want to use. Just, these are just oh, uh, a couple of cheap hardware store files. I wire them out. I just they start getting a little bit dull. I just sling them and get a new one. I got a few old files that actually will hold the edge, but this is just cheap, cheap how hardware store ones. But anyway, so get that handle out of the way. So what you don't want to do, uh, maybe I shouldn't say that. I'm not trying to tell y'all how to make a knife. I never have. I'm just showing you how I do it. But anyway, when I start out my file in here, my file's almost just flat on the side of the blade, you know? I know y'all seen probably some knives that, uh, that, you know, you can tell it's been cut just like this, and you gonna, you got this big wedge-shaped edge that's is still as thick as the spine, and that's really no good for a knife uh, that's gonna cut through anything. It might be good for an ax, but it ain't good, especially for a little knife like this. So anyway, and if you can get right out here like this, Mason, with the camera and kind of show the, can you see, kind of show the angle of the file there. So here's flat on, you know, just laying flat on the blade. I'm gonna start out like that. So I think we can't get her to cut here. Start to cut in. Skate a little bit because of that scale. It's still on there that I was telling you about. There again, y'all kind of see the angle of my file. You know, you're not going straight for that edge immediately. You want to start bringing your bevels down. So I'm taking a little meat out all the way across, off uh, the way across the blade up to the spine, just under the spine there. It's, it's cutting out ever so little amount, and you can see it when it starts to blend in all through here. 
I'm starting to see that scale going away and we're cutting down into fresh metal now. Okay, y'all. So, about got one side of it filed. And it takes a little time sometimes, but you see the the scratch marks from the file. That may not be showing up just perfect in this light, but you can see the almost uh, scars from the file running vertical across the blade like that. We're gonna work on taking some of that out. I don't really try to take all of it out because I, I mean, I really don't, it's no big deal to me. And people actually kind of like a little bit of the filings and tool marks left in it. But if you leave too many, it is unattractive. And it just looks kind of, kind of rough but anyway we're gonna get our file just a regular old file here we're gonna just draw file it you know back and forth this way holding the file back and forth this way and we'll, we'll we'll smooth those scratches or cut marks from the file out get everything kind of blended a little bit better. okay y'all uh like i say here we are let's get get a look there we go this shot right here i think it shows it a little bit you can see the scratches and now you can kind of see just got the blade uh, or the file kind of flat down on the blade. We're just gonna take it back and forth. And you'll start to see those lines. This file right here is just really dull and I don't really have a good sharp one. I need to get another one, but anyway. Just drawing out the lines. And you can kind of see it's taking, they're not out yet. Let's get right there. That light, man, it's just, but see, you see the, uh, the cut marks from the file are starting to run this way now. So we'll just keep doing that until we get, get that out. Get those uh, crossways cut marks from the file out of there. All right, I actually found a little bit uh, sharper file right here. So that you can see now uh, that the lines are running the length of the blade now rather than across it up and down this way i hope you can see that and the more you file the more you draw file it the slicker it's going to get and of course you can go from you know a, a coarser cut file down to the smaller uh, finer files and get it as slick as you want it if you really want to go through all that trouble but to me that's about right right there and by the time that i quench it you know i got to heat it back up for the quench and uh, maybe go over it with some sandpaper, then you get the finish that you see on my blades. It's not a real slick finish, but it's not terribly rough either. It's about just right for what I'm going for. So uh, I'm gonna give it a few more licks here with the file. We got a little bit right up there toward the spine that's still a little ugly. We get that blended in, then we'll flip it over and get the other side. Okay, here's that one side finished. There we go, the light's a little bit better there. Can you see that? See the lines, how they're all running the length of the blade now, and they're not up and down uh, from spine to the edge. Looks a whole lot better. And we're gonna flip it over and get this side. And then we'll have, still have to take the file and uh, smooth up that edge, dress it up a little bit, because it's got some little wiggles and wobbles in it. Not exactly a, a smooth, you can probably see it, especially out toward the point. We'll smooth that out, make sure we got it as thin as we need it, and then we'll proceed with the heat treat, get it hardened up and and uh, tempered out. We'll be about ready to go. Well, we got to stamp it, but anyway, we'll get it flipped over and get the other side cut. All right, we got it flipped over, and uh, again, like I say, we can back up a little bit with the camera there, Mason. All right, so I'm just running over it with the sandpaper and get some of that, that scale off of that edge, because it will cause a file to skate, especially one that's the like I'm using right now, it's getting a little bit dull. So, uh, but anyway, get that prepped up. Found a little bit sharper foam, same thing. You know, I'm, I'm almost down here. You don't want this. So, you know, whatever, whatever degree that angle right there is, it's not much. It's, uh, it, like I say, it's almost flat with the blade. And just give it just a little bit. You wanna be cutting up in here not just down on your edge. You want to be cutting into the whole blade, you know, so you get that good gradual taper from your spine down to the edge. Uh, Cause a knife that's, you know, it's got a really, really sharp edge and you're, 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 you're 
thick up here as the spine just past the edge, you're not really gonna slice, you're not gonna cut much. It, the cut will start, but then you're just gonna be like driving a wedge through a, through a piece of wood or something. You're gonna just be ripping it apart rather than cutting it. And we don't want that in a little knife like this. We want a knife with a razor edge and want it to slice. So you get this, the reverse side here filed in. Can you see, I hope you can see where we're cutting. See, it's taking, it's taking out meat across the whole surface of the blade, not just on the edge here. And everyone really can be different because you may, uh, you may, after you get through forging, you may be thin enough down here and you don't want to cut it on. And you just have to, you know, judge it by eye and adjust how much you're going to file out. But uh, I try to get, get the bevels as thin as I can with the hammer on the anvil so I don't have a whole lot of filing to go through. And that's especially labor saving when you're doing it by hand on a big blade. You get an eight or nine inch blade, it's a lot of filing by hand. Cutting in there good. Like I say, you see how, how far I'm going up from where it's cutting in? I'm cutting the edge, around the edge, but it's not its not really cutting into it uh, really deep. It's just a little bit at a time, all the way, all the way across, not, not just down here on the edge. Okay, got this side done. It's getting pretty thin. It almost cut you. Now remember, I know, I know somebody out there right now is, is crying. Oh, he's got the edge too thin. He's gonna screw it up when it comes to heat and treating. But no, that's not right. Now, now if I'm not paying attention when I go to quench this blade in my coal forge, especially, you can destroy that edge if you're just grinding it into the hot coals as you're heating it. You got to be careful not to do that. But you know, you'll you'll learn that if you're using a coal forge. You'll figure that one out pretty quick because I know I've done it a couple of times and sometimes it just happens no matter how much experience you got. If you hit that edge in those rough coals while it's getting up to temperature, you know, you might as well be dragging it across a, or hitting it with a hammer because it's, it's thin and it's malleable at that point. So it's going to deform pretty easy. You got to be careful to do that. I don't, I don't heat my knives in a, they're not insulated actually from the fire. I just, you know, I, I put it in the coals and I use it that way that's the way i do it but i'm just really careful but you can put like a piece of steel pipe that would accommodate this uh, blade in the fire and bring the the piece of pipe up to heat with the blade laying in it and you you lessen your chances of, of ruining your edge or getting any contaminations in your metal so that's an option for you if you want to do that but anyway we've about got this side done and then i'll show y'all the edge dressing, dressing up that little edge. It's gonna need a little attention. So with this one filed, I got it as thin as I want it. So we're gonna cross file this one, get all these file cut marks running the same way. And there again, you can see I'm cutting across the whole surface of that, uh, of the knife, not just, not just down here on the edge. You don't wanna just focus right here because what happens, your edge is gonna start going away and you know it's just going to get thicker and thicker and you just you work it yourself to death for nothing so we'll get this all blended in and we'll move on with it all right so filing's done you probably ain't going to be able to see this on this camera but you see that edge or what's going to be the edge is nice and thin now and you'll feel a little little prickers there that are kind of grab you a little bit but you see that edge right here is not consistent it's not a smooth even flowing line there so we're going to fix that next so squeeze it here in the vise you kind of see that edge right here what i'm talking about let's true that up all right so the edge here Kind of round that off at the point. You can feel it if it's got any little lumps and bumps in it there. And that file, like I say, this is not a real fine file. This is a 
This is a coarse bastard, male bastard. So, and the bastard is a little rough on it here, on that thin of an edge. Okay, so that's all I need. Hardly any pressure, just enough to fill it cutting. Get you a piece of sandpaper and come back over there. You see all these little burrs where the metal's laying over? Just kind of lightly sand that off. Just make it nice and smooth and consistent. You can kind of feel the, the side of the edge. Be careful, you might get a little metal splinter. Had plenty of them. But anyway, you can see that edge now is nice and smooth and consistent, the best I can tell. Yeah, let's see here. Yeah, looks good. All right. All right, y'all, that's about it. I hope uh, hope you enjoyed this little video. I hope it helped somebody out. Uh, I can't remember. The, I know two people sent a request in to show how I file, file the blades, but let's get a good close-up of it as we can. Now, remember what it looked like before. Now here it is. It's pretty, pretty clean, pretty slick. Uh, you're still gonna see a lot of better filing marks in there, but that's fine with me. I leave it. I like this stuff. Leave a little bit of that in there. It just didn't cut out. You know, we was able to get the uh, get the edge down like we wanted, get it thin. The bevels are thick enough. I mean, it's almost a razor now. It's just not hard. So we got to get it hardened and we got to get it tempered. But there's the uh, hand filing. Just a simple little file. No grinders. No machines just the old way like the old boys did it back in the day and um, yeah there it is a little twisted sticker all ready for a uh, heat treat and we'll get it edged up and uh, maybe I'll get a video of some of that too but anyway uh, appreciate y'all stopping by me and Molly Mae's gonna head to the house it's about supper time actually it's a little past supper time and uh, appreciate y'all watching Molly, what do they need to do? Tell them they need to like and subscribe. If you like the channel, if you watch the channel at all and you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Help us grow this, this channel. And uh, we appreciate it. And we'll see you on the next video. Tell them bye, Molly. Bye, y'all. See you next time.